Hey lovelies and welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And today's video I'm going to be doing an in-depth um, poly gel tutorial from like start to finish. So I am going to be using the mini model ones kit that you can get off of Amazon. I think it's under £20 right now at the time that I recorded this video. Uh, so in this little kit you get two tubes of 30 milliliter poly gels, a top and a base coat, a little bottle of slip solution, a gel brush that you can put the lid on the end to make it longer, but it actually is very long <laughs> in my opinion. <clears throat> A small little hand file and this file isn't actually that bad it's quite sturdy and then of course your jewel forms so of course this kit does come with a clear and apricot um, colored poly gel I use both so you will see I don't bother with the swatches so firstly we're going to talk about prep so of course nail prep is what you need to do to ensure that your nails um, last longer and stay on for longer so first thing you want to do of course is take a cuticle pusher I bought this off of Amazon everything is always linked down below by the way so just have a look in the description box and it's always there by the way that was a piece of peel off base coat that wasn't like skin or like big lumps of dead skin anywho <laughs> so firstly like I said you want to push back the cuticle and take up any of the dead skin that may be on the nail plate you don't have to do this very hard at all you do this very gently um, and then taking the other side which is more of like the pointier end you then um, scrape away any of the dirt dead skin and dust that you've just scraped up off of your nail and uh, then you proceed to the next nail um so yeah it's pretty simple pretty easy like i said you don't have to be rough with it but you do want to make sure you get up all of that dirt and dead skin you can of course use a an electric um e-file uh, well e-file is electric e yeah <laughs> So, uh, yeah, like I said, you can use an e-file if you want to. I'm personally, because I'm not a professional, I am self-taught. I learned everything on YouTube and then I done loads of research online and stuff. Um, so, of course, you do not have to. Uh, yeah, this is just what I do. <laughs> um, but like I said, you can use an e-file. I'm not that great with them and I'm still learning with it and I'm still a bit like nervous with it. So this video is completely no drill you don't need a drill to do any of this work you i'm showing you that you can do poly gel nails at home without using a drill as well and by the way i also did clip off um a tiny bit of a hang nail that was on my nail which you can do um you don't have to it's completely up to you so now moving on to nail files the best way to like of course right with nail files when they're brand new they can be quite sharp on the edges so this is what you do um to soften the edges so you do not cut yourself whilst using them to file your nails and the next step of the prep then is of course filing away the natural shine off your nail again this is not to be done hard you are not taking off layers you are literally just taking the shine away um so you want to make sure you get every single space and area of your nail plate um completely removed of the natural shine um pulling back the side walls gently with one of your fingers you can get right into the side there and make sure you go all the way up to the free edge because otherwise you're gonna have lifting um so yeah these two of course all of the prep work pre uh, prevents you from having lifting um it stops the nail like with if there's dirt on the nail or shine product tends to not want to stick um so yeah this is always a good step to take and then of course i use my little duster brush to brush away any of the dust that's some more peel off base coat by the way that you just seen <laughs> uh see so also this file helps get rid of all the like little bits that you missed with the cuticle pusher and uh like i said you just dust it off and the next step then we're going to jump into but i'm just showing you a comparison there like you can see there's no shine 
and then with my actual thumb that I haven't touched you can see the shine on there so yeah <laughs> so now we're going to go in for tips of course you can use dual forms if you wish to I actually have a video on dual forms that I will link in the cards um, but I am using my uh, Jalex dupe uh, nails that I got off of AliExpress and I'm just fitting them onto my nail making sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall um, with uh, nail tips if you've got a size where you're like a size in between always go for the larger size and file the sides down and shape it down because um, product and nail tips they shrink slightly so if you go for a smaller size it's actually going to pop off sooner and of course it in it causes lifting so yeah you want to make sure that if you have to you have to go for a bigger size um so i am using full cover tips but you can use um half tips if you want of course if you do um you do exactly the same thing but you would dehydrate your nail and then put your tip on and then use primer whereas because i'm using full cover tips I used the dehydrator first, then I went in with the primer, avoiding all skin ta oh, skin contact. Sorry, my words don't come out sometimes. <laughs> um, but like I'm showing you, if you have a half tip, you would glue that on now and then go in with your primer. But because I've got full cover tips, we are going to prime my nail and then we are going to glue the tips on. And like I said, avoid the skin when putting this on because uh, it's primer <laughs> and product sticks to primer um, and then of course you can either glue your um, tip on which is what I'm actually doing today or you can use um, builder gel or a base coat and you can cure your nails onto your nails they do actually last three to four weeks so I'd highly recommend that step um, and yeah, it's pretty simple. Make sure there's no ear bubbles. There are ear bubbles in mine, but I do take mine off after this video. Uh, I actually used a peel off base coat, but you, you want to avoid a peel off base coat if you want your nails to last. Um, so do not do the peel off base coat step. <laughs> but like I said, I'm just gluing my tips on now and then I'm going to go in with my hand file and I am going to um, roughen up the surface of the nails you want to do this if you will use uh, half tips as well taking away the shine from the nail as well the the fake nail um because again product will not stick to a shiny surface so you want to make sure you take away that shine so that the product will adhere and once this is done i only show you with one finger because i didn't think you'd need to see them all and this video would just been way too long if i'd shown you all all of the steps I took so I just made sure that the important bits were just done on one finger and really detailed and shown also you can hold your finger over your nail um that you're filing to just like give yourself a little bit more comfort when you're actually doing it um and then of course you dust off the dust and now we're going to go in with the base coat and you cure this in your nail lamp for well model ones are 60 seconds you want to apply a thin even layer um you i know some people only apply it to their natural nail but there's nothing wrong with applying it to the natural nail and the full cover tip or the half tip it really doesn't matter i've seen no difference and i've done both so you can do either one it's completely up to you and i also want to add that every brand and company of nail products Always read the instructions when you get a kit because curing times may differ from company to company. So you want to make sure that you are curing for the right amount of time that the company and the brand actually suggests. So now I'm going to grab a bowl and add my slip solution. I didn't use the Model 1's one because I was nearly finished with my Gershon one so I just used that. Um, and then I wet the bristles on my brush just to uh, get it ready. And now we're going in with the apricot poly gel. So this bit here, I'm doing the two bead method because it's easier for beginners and it's easier to create an apex. But I do show you um, different ways on how you can apply the poly gel. So this way is the two bead method and I found this one the easiest way. This one is 
a godsend. <laughs> so you apply the poly gel to the tip and you just mould it around with your brush, making sure to dip into the um, slip solution when you need to. By the way, slip solution is essentially rubbing alcohol. Just going to say that. So anything like uh, isopropyl alcohol, I think it's called, if it's 70% and up, then it will work. Um... So yeah, that's that's your slip solution. And also, I will add that you can use 100% acetone and isopropyl alcohol or slip solution as your dehydrator if you do not have any. So just bear that in mind, guys. You can use that. But make sure you check because some nail polish removers that are 100% acetone have oils in and you, the dehydrator takes away all the oils from your nail and it helps the product to stick. But anyway, back to the polygel section of the video now. So... What you want to do is um, you want to pat the poly gel into place and just like tidying up around the edges. You do not have to be perfect because you can always go in and file it, but it does take less time to file if you perfect your shape. But do not worry if you don't. It's all trial and error. So I applied that to the tip and I just feathered it down my nail onto the nail bed and then I cured. And now I'm going in with a bead at the cuticle area and this is going to be my cuticle bead, my nail bed bead, and my apex bead. Um, so basically I'm going to pat it around and make sure that it fits nicely around the um, cuticle area. Of course, avoiding skin, never get nail products on your skin because of nail allergies. I am going to do a video soon of nail allergies, talking about it whilst I do my nails. Um, I just haven't got around to do it yet because there is a lot of information. Um, but yeah, always avoid the skin contact when it comes to any nail products. It doesn't matter whether it's acrylic, um, nail glue even, poly gel, hard gel, it doesn't matter. Don't get it on your skin. So I pulled the poly gel down then after I created a nice shape of apex and I just blended it down the tip to meet the free edge. Um, so of course it created that nice apex area. Uh, you can, you, what I do when I'm actually doing this, I do turn my hand around a lot and I lock down the barrel of my nail and you can see the shape and then of course look at it at different angles to make sure that it's perfectly, um, giving you that apex area i do like my nails um thicker because i have i do like to do long nails so of course you want to build more structure if they're shorter you don't need to have as big of an apex but if they're, sh they're longer you definitely do need to have more product and to make it stronger um but like i said i'm now i'm just cleaning up the sides and so on and so forth um it's pretty simple, pretty easy guys. It just takes a bit of time and a bit of trial and error, but you will get there. And here I am now showing you the, from the barrel sort of view. That's my son in the background as well, if you can hear him. <laughs> uh, so once we've done this, then we do cure for 60 seconds because that is model one's, uh, what model one's instructions say. Um, I'm still playing with it. <laughs> so the next one that we're going to do, we're actually going to do on the middle finger. And I do a full nail of the poly gel. And I then um, pat it all into place and cure. I do not create an apex with this, um, but I do bring it all the way down to the cuticle. And then I, once I've cured, I do go back in with another bead and I create an apex. So it's very similar to the thumb, but I bring the poly gel all the way down to the cuticle area. Either way, it still works, it's still fine. And it's, you know, you're not gonna have like a different experience. It's pretty much the same. And then on my pinky finger, I done um, a one bead method where you pull, you put the poly gel like on the toothpaste method and you pour it all the way squeeze it all the way down from the cuticle to the free edge and you create your apex and your free edge and shape it and, and everything like that um in one go this is for more like of a, an advanced not advanced because i i used to do this before i even started doing the two bead method i find the two bead method that i done on my thumb the easiest and i would highly recommend you guys trying it out if you are struggling to apply poly gel and if you are struggling with apex building your apex um but i'm gonna let you guys watch this bit and then i'll be back in time to do the encapsulation on the other nails so i'm just gonna put some music on and enjoy guys
guys. So, <laughs> I know I talk a lot in this video, but like I said, it's a very in-depth tutorial and I want to make sure I cover all points. So, now I'm going in with some base coat and before I cure, I mixed up some uh, chunky glitters that I got off of, well, they're sequins. That's what we call them in Britain, I don't know. I think a lot of people just call them glitter. Anyway, um, these are off of AliExpress. Um, I will link it down in the cards. It's uh, just a giant bag of um, loads of different little bags of uh, sequins, chunky glitters. There's like stars and hearts in there. I just thought it'd be a really nice like little touch to the nails. So I um, placed this onto the wet base coat and then I made sure that they were all in the base coat as best I could. Um, like, okay, don't use your fingers, use a tool. I actually use my finger in this video. Don't use your fingers, don't be stupid like me. Use a tool to pat all of it in place and make sure it's there. And then once I'd cured in the nail lamp for 60 seconds, I then went in with the clear poly gel and encapsulated. So this is um, a pretty easy way to encapsulate. I actually prefer this method because you're not building up layers when you do this particular um, encapsulation. Um, but the second one, I do a thin layer of poly gel on the ring finger. I apply some a butterfly glitter that I got off of. I think AliExpress as well. I'll have to link everything down below, don't worry. Um, I uh, applied some a very thin layer of clear poly gel, put the butterflies into the clear poly gel, patted it all into place. Again, use a tool, don't use your finger like I did. Or wear gloves and do it. It's completely up to you. <laughs> um, and then I cured for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. And then once that was done, I then actually fully encapsulated the nail. Um, but like I said, I prefer the, the base coat one because it does work and you're not building up like this mass amount of product if you just use base coat. So um, I'm just going to let you guys watch this bit and I will be back in time for the next part. I can't think of what it is. I think it's filing. <laughs> um, so I'll be back in a second, guys. So once you've finished curing all of your product onto your nails, you want to take a lint-free pad and some rubbing alcohol or the slip solution and you want to wipe away that sticky tacky layer off of the top of your nails because that um, is uncured gel and basically gel cures poly gel as well because poly gel is just acrylic and hard gel mixed together. Poly gel is actually the, is a brand name um it's actually called hybrid gel um but people just call it poly gel anyway that was just a random fact um but you want to wipe away that sticky tacky layer purely for the reason that um it's uncured poly gel so uncured product and if you touch it you can of course cut, um slowly build up a an allergy a nail allergy anyone can get nail allergy so 
you're not immune. <laughs> but basically, no, we're just going to go on to filing. And also, if you don't wipe away that sticky tacky layer, it's actually really hard to file and it just goes like goopy. Um, and it really blogs, clog, blogs, clogs up your nail file. So now we're going to go in with a hand file and basically um, holding your finger on top of the nail, it actually prevents um, like discomfort. So when you are filing the top of the nail to give it that crisp edge, always just use one of your other fingers to hold the nail in place and it, it does help a lot. Um, and when filing the sides, make sure, because you want a straight edge, if you want a straight edge, always hold your file parallel to the nail. I did show in the video, it's just it's already happened. <laughs> um, and make sure that you swap from side to side so that you don't over file one side and it be lopsided. I hope that makes sense. Um, if you want to, uh, of course, file the product down on the sides a little bit um, and like give it a curve sort of thing, you would slightly tilt your file and um, you would file like in a little bit. That's basically what you do. Like I'm doing the sides now and then I go in a little bit and I start to give it more of like a smooth rounded shape on top. Um, Poly gel is really easy to file, so you don't have to over file. You can easily do it with a hand file, as I'm proving right here. Um, and then once I am happy with the side walls and the crisp edge, I then go over the top um, with my hand file. As you can see, I'm holding the nail any way I can. Uh, I want to go over the top of the, the actual nail then to um, make sure it's all crisp and smooth and all level and there's no bumps. And also, if you feel like you need to level out the free edge completely, you will just hold your file um, completely straight and just file underneath so that you know for a fact that you're filing not one side more than the other. I hope that makes sense. Once you are done, dust away all of the dust, of course, and then use some rubbing alcohol again to just make sure that the um, dust is all gone and the nail surface is clean. Um... I didn't put too much filing in here because, like I said, it was a very long video and there's loads of dust on that paper there. If you don't have a nail, uh, a dust collector, always use, put something down to file on top of and then fold it in on itself and put it in a bin with a lid. So now you can either go in with some top coat or, of course, you can decorate them. I decided to put some gel polish on, but you can just go in with top coat. I think these would look nice with just a top coat on. The apricot colour is really, really pretty in my opinion. But I really wanted to try out of my Beatles gel polish. This is the Just Peachy collection. And we are going in with that lovely red colour on the thumb. And I do two coats of each. But I only show one coat in the video. Um, so basically you just want to make sure it's an even layer. And if you get any of the gel or nail varnish even if you just want to use normal polish you can just use a cleanup brush and some um, acetone and just clean around the cuticle and wherever you've got it on your skin you do not need to panic but don't like use your fingers to wipe it away because yeah I sound like a broken record but I just want to make sure that I get every area for you guys <laughs> so we're going in on the middle finger with that absolutely lush I love this color this gorgeous bright orange and then this gorgeous a pinky coral sort of um, orange, peachy coral, yeah, it's like an orangey peach nude. I don't know, I love this colour um, and I go in with this on my pinky and here I am now just showing you that you can just use a brush dipped in acetone and clean up the sides. It's really easy and this is before you cure and then of course you'll cure for 60 to 90 seconds with beetles and then i done my second um layer off of camera and now I'm going in with some top coat I cure again for 60 seconds and then um, I add some cuticle oil around the cuticle and at the back of the nail you should always do this because it's really good for your nails and you've just put them through a lot so they definitely need some hydration <laughs> and of course if you want your um, encapsulated clear nails to be more clear I would um, suggest putting some top coat underneath as well um, but other than that guys this is pretty much the end of the video I didn't add any rhinestones but if you do want to by all means you can you can cure them into top coat or you can use builder gel and then put top coat on top and cure it or you can just use nail glue and it works all the same but here's the end results guys and i hope you enjoyed the video they kind of look a bit fall vibes 
and it's only August. Maybe I like maybe the colourful butterflies and shapes. We're like it's still summer, but we're getting into autumn. I I want to keep doing summer nails though. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope that it did help someone somehow. Even if it's just one person, I'd be very happy about. Um, but let me know down in the comments if it did help you out. And thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You do not have to, but it does help me out. I hope everyone is staying safe. Keep on smiling. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.